Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Grateful, compassionate. Um, how are you holding up? I'm. Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh, we're gonna keep quiet. I'm not saying anything. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. Don't go. It's dangerous. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Uh. Yeah, let's just go reassuring. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Oh no! That was a close one. How the world did this big guy came from? Come from? I said came from. Past tense. No sign of him. When you find them, blood them. And keep me posted, Bobby. <laughs> oh, man. He even got a sniper rifle. How does he not see me? What the heck? Oh my god! I'm right in front of you, fool! <laughs> what the heck? Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> 
fuck. Where the hell are you, Bobby? Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Don't worry about Caitlyn. I'm, I'm just gonna say confident. Hey, don't worry about Caitlyn, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? You're hard to read. I thought things would go further. Um, uh, intrigued. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you? Want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> you did want it to happen though. Uh, um. I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <gasps> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay, I got this. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide! Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. We gotta hide. There's no time to run. Quick. Jeez. Man, look at look at that man, all sweaty and bloodied. This guy means business. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Uh, camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. What? Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here... 
I um You're a wise wise cracking smart ass. <laughs> uh that's a little harsh, but uh... No. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like you know, whatever man, it's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Well, we're back at the at here. I thought we came over where Emma and Abigail. And now we're back where we started. Is there anything around here? Since we came back? Uh oh. Alright, uh, so it sounds, sounds like it's right here, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and look around. What's that? Huh. Got some more evidence. Anything else around here? What is that? Oh, nothing. Anything else? Oh, there it is. Okay. Another turret. Well, I think that's it. So, alright. Here we go. All good? Yeah, we're good. Alright. All good? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. Don't think it would help. How do you? I just say interested. How do you he looks really interesting. Know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. It's 
So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. <laughs> heard of bears? Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, out. Holy shit! They're talking about us. Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. Wow. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey. Shit. Let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh man, we're not going aggressive. Yeah, let's go and apologize. I, I I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh... Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. 
Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go. go. Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. What now? Anything we can do? We gotta kill it? Um... Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah, just calm down, man. Just calm down. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. So, so, there's something missing. I, what's missing? Oh, crap. It pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Oh my gosh. Okay, just hang on. No way. Um Oh my gosh. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Fuck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just just hang on, hang on. Fuck. Chainsaw or the shotgun? This is a chainsaw. That's not wasting the bullets. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. No. Not wasting any bullets. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! This reminds me of The Walking Dead. When Lee had that same problem. The wire, get the R. wire. R.I.P. Lee. Wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, he blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, it was a bad idea. Oh, fuck. 